The idea of ground rules is a term taken from sport, which means the local unofficial rules that operate in certain grounds or certain areas. So we took that idea up to describe the fact that in any talk situation, you've got rules. And if you're going to work well in those situations, you need to know the rules. So if, say, if you're talking in a group or in the whole class or something like that, you've got to follow the talk agreement so it's fair in the group. So one of the talk agreements is don't try to become the leader of the group. You have to, like, like Sylvia said, make it fair. So what is it that makes a good discussion? What do you do to make sure you have a good discussion? I'm going to show you a set of things we call ground rules for talk. Make sure the children know what you're doing, that it's up to them, isn't it, to do the discussion. And if they have the right awareness of what it's all about and the point and purpose of reasoning together, then you're much more likely to, for them to be able to make it work themselves and each other. Well, definitely not talking over each other and also if someone hasn't spoken, ask them to join the conversation so everyone can contribute. The idea is that the children themselves are responsible for their own volume and that could be one of their ground rules if you like. It's not random talk or casual talk. The talk children expect to take part in is purposeful and focused on the task in hand.